New at 10, it's not often we see this, a bomb squad detonation in Boulder caught on camera. And from that same blast, an up-close look at the explosion, the bomb squad blowing up a grenade found by a popular lake. It's the second grenade found in as many days. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart is live, and Mark, that park is now off limits to the public. And for good reason, Eric, as you can see, Stearns Lake is sprawling. There's a lot of brush here. They want to make sure there are no other dangers, perhaps, left behind. As you will see, just about two hours ago, the bomb squad blew up that second grenade, all in a precaution just to be safe. And with that, a second grenade discovered just hours ago on the shore of Stearns Lake was destroyed. We don't know how long they've been in the lake, so they are pot still potentially explosive. This is a picture of the first grenade, likely dating back to World War II, found on Tuesday. Investigators have no clue how they got here. I quite literally tripped over it. Anthony Perkins know he's lucky he wasn't hurt after stumbling on that first grenade, walking back after a fishing trip. It's not every day that you get to say you kicked the grenade and walked away. His fiance Rachel was by his side. It is kind of crazy. I'm just glad nothing happened that it hadn't actually like triggered anything or exploded after he had kicked it. A necessary precautionary move as grenades are sturdy, able to withstand decades. Explosives have been found in Boulder County, usually after floods or fires. Grenades, though, like these, aren't so common. It's a beautiful spot. I mean, I'll definitely be back here. Hopefully, won't find anything else. Again, the park here at Stearns Lake closed for the next two days or so. That could change. We'll certainly keep you posted. Investigators want to make sure they have daylight and perhaps even metal detectors before they make that all clear. We're live near Broomfield tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.